I guess this is it now. Dr. Harry Herman and his so-called selflessness, always trying to do the right thing. How many times have we talked about this? About your overwhelming urge to always do what you think is right, no matter who gets hurt. Well, I guess now you'll finally face the consequences. You failed, Harry. Failed both of us. You've ruined everything. <sighs> we were so close to this. We were about to break the goddamn principle. <sighs> but you don't even care, do you? You just don't. Hello everybody, this is CSY coming at you with a demo of the Mueller-Powell Principle. This game kind of caught my eye, looks interesting. Kind of cool to try out here. Let's see what we got going on here. Sounds like we got some alarms and we got some Things falling apart. Use E to interact. Okay. Ooh, what's that? It's a laser. Camera. Hmm. Project 747. Oh, these guys. Oof. Okay. Should we go? Let's go check out security. Oh boy. Maybe we can find a gun or something here. I don't know if we're gonna need it. Oh, this is cool. This game looks pretty good. Looks really good so far. What is Zone B3? Nothing. This way we came in. Let's see what we can do over here. Oh. Okay. Use the left control to crouch. Push these boxes out of the way. Oh! Oh! Ow! Okay. Oh, look. We could pick, pick stuff up. Can we throw it? Maybe later. Okay, can we go in here? Oh, we can. Oh. Space bar to jump. Okay. It's just to jump through here, apparently, and not get shocked. We need the clipboard. Negative. Ah! That scared the crap out of me. Can we jump up here? Uh, oh, oh. Okay, now we bypassed it. E to pick up physics object. So we figured that out. We can pick things up. Ah, uh huh. I see you recovering something. Alright. Door is opening. But, uh, yeah, something went terribly wrong here. An experiment gone terribly wrong, apparently. Can we go in here? Nope. Tea, coffee, cappuccino, latte, americano, and espresso. 
That looks like a water dispensary. All right, can we go? Oh, into this security? Nope. Oh. Yikes. Check any good. Oh, we got the blue screen of death on the computers. Uh oh, okay. Uh oh. Oh, hey, Doc. Finally. What took you so long? Good to see you in one piece. For a moment, we thought this fucker Powell had caught you. Or worse. So, this isn't our guy? All right, then. Sorry, pal. Come oh. on, Tom. We gotta move on. We'll escort you safely out of this place, as we agreed earlier. Hmm. Uh, looks Doc, like he doesn't know if it's the right thing to do. Shit. You're gonna kill him? What's happening? Doctor Herman. Uh-oh. Doctor Herman. Error. Crap. Mueller. Right. Just give me a second. Let me think it over. And for fuck's sake, just stand still and do nothing. You've already done a lot. <laughs> stand Shit. still. The lockdown wasn't enough. Harry, they're coming for you. We must act quickly. Do as I say, and maybe you'll stay alive a bit longer. Right. Where was I? Get in here quick. In here. It's a security uh. station. You can unlock your way into the technology archive from here. I'll try to keep these fucks away from us for a little while. Unlock your way. Huh. What do we got? E to press buttons on terminal. We got mail. 747 locked out. Final war. Attention all Delta Labs personnel. Project 747 is commencing on schedule. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys can pause to read that if you would like. And then, let's see, security alert. Oh, how do I... Oh, E. Uh, this is an automated security alert sent from dimensional systems. Danger, dimensional breach detected. All science personnel evacuate immediately. All security personnel, please assume defensive positions. Danger code Omega. Entity, sentinent, multiple. Okay, let's go back. Files, security tool. Level 3 restricted area, security maintenance tool. Lockdown is currently in effect. Access to certain sections on this level might be restricted. Door control, manage lockdown. Access denied, door control. Okay, looks like we only have one choice. Here's our little map. You are here, central hub, technology archive. Okay, that's where we're going. Device here in the archive. Can't seem to run unless it's. Look for different. the door labeled 101. Okay. Nice. There's 103, 104. Looks like they're all locked. Okay. 02101. Shit, it's locked. Like the rest of them. Well, <laughs> I have to find another way inside. Can we, all right, we can't find that hermit guy before he does anything stupid. You two come with me. Uh oh. Oh, okay. There's storage. All right, we gotta hurry. These guys are coming. Okay. Keep out authorized personnel. Ah! We have. Have a hatch or something here. Vent. Secure service hatch. There we go. E. There we go. Crouch on in there. I'm assuming this. Uh oh. Assuming this is going to get us to where we want. On the other side, the control to that. Doc, we know you're there. Come on, Doc. Don't make it worse. 
Uh oh, they're trying to get in. Stop we gotta... messing around, Harry. We need to access the terminal. Um, how do I? We had a deal, Doc. Dr. Oh, oh, up here. Dr. Herman. Who do you think I am? A babysitter? Get to the terminal quick. Can I jump? Um. Don't make us come for you by ourselves, Herman. Come on. Open the door. Jump. Now. Alright, we gotta we gotta make a little stair thing here. There we go. Right. Come on, Walker. get uh oh. You had it coming. Guard, bust a fucking door. Can I there we go. Jump and then crouch. Okay. They'll never suspect me going through here. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Okay. Control room, can no, we get in there? No. An easy job if you can read. You can read, right? <laughs> Unsafe for human transfer. Uh-huh. Mm. Really? Is this what we want to do? Okay, looks like we need to go here. There's some mail. Shut it down. I'm done arguing with you about this, Alex. Your little pet project is over. I know you're trying to follow in your father's footsteps, but this time, I'm serious. If the entire thing isn't boxed up by Monday morning, I'm going to have the text pull it to pieces and recycle it. Don't push it. All right, files, prototype 101, tool, experimental, teleportation device. Notice this prototype is considered unsafe. Launch in test mode or tar targeting parameters. Um, okay, am I doing, am I doing this right? I hope. Uh, notice, fast targeting setup failed. Partner gate not found. Would you like to attempt to load custom targeting script? Uh, I hope I'm doing this right. Maybe I should have just launched it. <laughs> uh, no partner device found. Hopefully that worked. Success. Now let's launch it. Right? Launching this gate. Can't get out of here. Do we gotta go back? Oh. It's opening. We gotta go back through there, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, 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 we get it. Just shut up already. Okay. Oh, the... Fuck, they're here. Harry, quickly, through the teleport. Move, Harry, move. All right, we got to go. Before they get in. <laughs> Before they kill us. Oh, where are we? Okay, I can't move. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, well, we teleported somewhere. Wake up. What is this? Don't forget to grab your expedition kit before going out. Where's my expedition kit? Let's look at the mail. Facility lockdown. This software facility has been placed under administrative lockdown. Uh, AI personnel are instructed to return. Okay, you guys can read that. Let's look at the files. Isolation field tool. Control. Uh, toggle field. That's going to open that. Yes. Um, usage instructions last updated. Isolation field is a brand new security tech brought to you by Delta Laboratories. The field operates using our patented slow photon technology, which allows photons of green light to form complex structures. The usage of this product, of the product, 
is pretty easy and straightforward. However, while using it, you should follow basic safety principles. Do not try to pass through an active field. This can lead to serious injury. Given the fact that the consistency of the field is indistinguishable from that of a solid wall, under no circumstances you should stand inside a field equipped passage while the field emitters are activating. This can lead to serious irradiation with slow photons, which will result in cutting your body in half. Oh, crap. Okay. So we're supposed to go in there, but where? Don't forget to grab your expedition kit. Where's the expedition kit that I'm supposed to grab? Is this going to take us out like it's saying before you go out? Hmm. Okay. Maybe there is no expedition kit <laughs> for me. It's a reminder for someone else to grab this before they go out here, maybe? I don't know. Maybe this isn't going out. Oh. Where, what is this? Ah, this, this is gorgeous. This game looks cool. I love it. Do I have a light? No. Probably don't need it. Okay. E to pick up generator. Okay. Then what? Ah, yeah. Ha. Okay. Cool. That opened this. Ah, oh, scared of crap. Oh. What is this? Are these doors? Okay, what is this? It's kind of wacky. Okay. And in here, oh. Okay, now we're going into some creepy stuff. Wow, this is cool. Oh god. Am I supposed to just maybe jump up here? Okay. Oh, there's some blood. Some tools. Okay, that looks pretty dangerous. Probably not supposed to go that way. Alright, here we go. A few ideas on an on improvement. You guys can read this. It's probably... I'd read it, but uh, we kind of need to keep going, I guess. <laughs> there might be something important, but maybe not. Okay, talks about saving some water. Uh, F system check tool. Filtration and purification system status. Recorded log. Warning, low power filtration system status critical. External vent control timeout, emergency dump tank overflow, supervisor sys to to sys to DSOO lost connection, plus 145 errors. Okay, into data reboot. Let's try rebooting. Rebooting in progress. Error. Emergency reboot failed. Please consult chief engineer. Okay. That was no good. Maybe something... Oh! God, that scared the crap out of me. Maybe something we need to come back for? Oh, God. That poor guy. Can we open this? Put that open. Oh, the suit. Can I take the suit? Do I need this suit? Can't take it. What about this one? 
What's this? Protective suit. Here in Africa, referred to as the suit, is the property of Delta Laboratories, the safety and functionality of the suit. Our responsibility of the employee who uses the suit, here and after, referred to as the user. <laughs> okay, instructions. Ensure that the protective suit is airtight uh, and in good working order. Put on the suit. When out on the surface, avoid sharp objects and contacts with local fauna. Do not subject the suit to loads that could cause the deformation of the content constituent parts. Do not remove the suit under any circumstances before returning to Facility 51 and undergoing the decontamination procedure. Should you discover a malfunction in the suit being outside, uh, contact the operator in charge immediately, explain your problem, and state your version of the cause of the malfunction for technical specs, sign, da 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 use your notes, why do we all have to use these ridiculous suits? When we go to the surface, I thought we've already established years ago that the atmosphere in this world is completely breathable. Yeah, but maybe it's protecting you from something else. So, hmm, I don't know where we are. <laughs> Welcome to the lounge. Okay. Okay. What do we got in here? Looks like a crushed box of maybe some Chinese food. And we got the vending machines. What's over here? Can I get up here? No? Whoa. Can't get over there. Hmm. All right, I guess we're going exit to the surface, or am I missing something? Ah! Holy crap! Whew. Scared the crap out of me. Well, now what do I do? Well, it's not letting us go outside. Oh my god. Ah! What on earth is this? Yikes. What the heck was that? What just happened? How do I... Oh, what is going on? Whoa. Is this going to mess with me? Did it just dematerialize that stuff? Let's walk. Should we try and walk into it? Ah! Okay. Didn't kill me. Oh God, what was, Whoa. What was that? Hello? Who, who's there? Who are you? If you're alive, I'm in the suit room. That voice, I'm trying to remember. Is anyone there? Oh, please, let someone be alive. <laughs> okay, let's go in here. Suit room. Oh, thank heavens. There is somebody there. Uh, th this is Eugene from the Dimensional Systems Oversight Office. <laughs> right. I think there's a radio uplink in uh, a box in one of the suit tubes. Thingies. Uh, on the Sweet floor. Tubes. I can yeah, see your signature moving suits. around. I know you're there. Are you okay? Do you understand? There we go. Right? Radio. Oh, thank God. So, ha wait, Harry? Harry, Harry is yeah. that really you? It's really How did me. You get here? No one could get in or out with the law. Well, um. Harry, your readings are very strange. Your brainwaves, they're scrambled. How's your memory? Um, oh dear. However you crossed into this dimension, it's really messed up your head. If you don't remember, I'm Eugene. We've worked together uh, on and off here at Delta for a good few years now. You're in Facility 51, the forest dimension, as we call it. 
and something really bad has happened. Um, so uh, l let's try to get you out of there. Uh, I'm rerouting power to open the door. Oh damn, this whole facility is falling apart. I'm not sure how long that door will hold on, so hurry oh, this up, door. Harry, go. go. Whoa! Oh, ah. Just in time. Oh, just in time. The isolation fields. Something has triggered the quarantine procedure. Only IDS agents can lower those. Mm. Ah, but I think you can cut power from the control. Oh, good grief. This place is a mess. They're okay. powering that section from a portable generator. <sighs> Dear me, they've burned through so many of those things, you know. Okay, it looks like the field is... Well, well, this might just work for us. Just unplug the generator. Unplug it. And uh, I'm soon to put it oh, here. You, you did it. Well, well done. Well done. Okay. Why do they consider... Why do they want to keep scaring me? Okay, we can't go back that way. Why do they insist on scaring the crap out of me every so time? Oh. I suppose I should... Whoa, whoa. Okay, I missed your explanation, I guess. Important shipments. Remember that thing I asked you to arrange and send me along with the regular... Shipment back in the cafeteria on Earth-42 a week ago? Well, I'm still waiting for it. Told you before, I've got an enthusiast here who deals with portals. Oh, so I need generators and a refrigerator right away. If this guy is right, we're going to have a technological breakthrough here. And the cook's really starting to get on my nerves about where his groceries are. You're not going to make me starve, are you? Just a reminder, you owe me. Alright, let's see. Hello, Dave. Sorry it took so long. To reply and delayed posting. Uh, everything will be delivered on this facility tomorrow. Everything as you requested. I strongly suggest that you personally accept the shipment on the bill of lading to make sure I didn't make a mistake. Because you know, after all the trouble you've caused me, I sure as hell don't owe you one. <laughs> okay, your package is here. When are you coming down for it? The chef's already been... And cleared out the rest of the kitchen stuff, so it's only one item left. Thanks very much, Steve. Just keep it safe for me for a while. Keep it quiet, please. Very important. Okay. Files. Shipment control. Private off-world shipment. Sender anonymous. Recipient David Sutherland. Portable food refrigerator. Lock. Unlock. Unlock. Ugh. What is this? That's a gun. And held. There you are. Oh, I was worried I'd lost you for a moment. Wait, 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 what is that? What have you found? The uplink reads it as a phased optical transdiamorphosis e prototype. Blah, blah, blah. That's the photon gun. That that experiment you were working on years ago. I thought that had been abandoned. You don't remember what it was for, do you? As, as far as I know, no one knew what you were up to. Where on earth did you find... Uh, oh, never mind. B bigger fish right now. Okay. It says it's idle. Hmm. Don't know what to do here. So we've smuggled this in, apparently. Oh, wait, what? Energy source found. Shoot it. Wait, oh, what's this? Right click. Wait, wait where, where did the field go? <laughs> uh, where did the photon gun just... Oh, hold oh, oh, left yeah, mouse to shoot. like that at all. Now I can see why your team was defunded. What am I shooting? So we, uh, this? Hold right mouse button to recharge the proton gun with the same type of energy. So I'm recharging it with that middle mouse button to discharge it. 
Okay, gotcha. Why do we want to discharge it? Nice, look at that. Alright, so let's try to open this. Oh, oh God! Wow, that door, that's... It's not meant to do that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, hold on, I'm just trying to access the control panel for it. Uh, j just don't touch it yourself. It's yeah. in some sort of phased quantum flux. It's bizarre. It seems to be experiencing a pocket of extreme quantum entanglement. But it's incredibly highly localized. It almost seems like this door isn't from this reality at all. It's Somehow it's been shifted partially over from another or perhaps several others. How absolutely fascinating. Oh, uh, just in case you're thinking about shooting it with that gun of yours, I wouldn't. I think mm. it's much, much better if you just sit quietly until I get back to you. Sometime yeah. later today. Later today? Possibly. No. No time, dude. He told me not to shoot it, which means I'm probably supposed to shoot it. So it's like shifting and phasing into another reality, apparently. Can I just shoot this thing? Harry, I told you not oh. to sh uh, well, Okay, well, it, it worked. Well done, I suppose. Uh, okay. All right. Whoa. Something very strange is going on. It's already <laughs> killed everyone else here. You need to get out. There's a gateway back to Earth in the lower labs. But first, we'll need to access Director Sutherland's terminal. In the <laughs> Uh oh. Great. What is this? Okay. Oh, did you hear the screams? Well, of course, that could also end the entire universe. <laughs> so, oh, great. don't try anything like that, right? <laughs> That was weird. I just saw some very strange readings for a moment. Oh! Oh, this door isn't locked. Uh, maybe try going through here. Good grief, and I thought my room was small. Where am I? Oh, here we go. Hmm. Do I have a light? No. Hmm. Uh, so maybe there's another way out? Let's just look around here. Wow, what is what? Oh, that's a heater. Things blazing, baby. What do we got down here? Got this wire. Don't be afraid to break a few windows. The entire facility is falling to pieces. No one's going to bill you for the damage. Hmm. Probably. Right, let's look at this. We've got we've got a situation. Liam, I'm terribly sorry for not answering that long. I want well, to help you. Actually, regulations require all glass be shatterproof, so you probably can't break them per se, but still. Hmm. Uh, I want to help you, I really do. But it's just too much for a simple portal operator. Water shortage facility director... Good grief, who left that heater on full blast like that? No wonder they've been having such energy problems. <laughs> All right, give me a minute. I want to read this. The worst part, I'm not allowed to tell you why I refuse your request. What I am allowed to do is to resent your email. Re resent your email. Huh. I've been reading the uh, readme file in that gun's public directory. Apparently, it can absorb almost any kind of energy, including oh. heat. Uh, enough heat to melt things, like uh, oh. glass, for instance. <laughs> Okay, I'll get to that. Hold on. Uh, allowed to do is to resent your email to anyone who is or probably. Yes, oh, come on. heat. Like if there was some sort of heat source nearby. And then, well, you could use it to melt glass. Like a glass window or wall or, you know, something that might be blocking your way. Ah, well, I mean, I'm not sure if that really applies. Okay, this guy's going to keep annoying me. <laughs> uh, anyway, or probably may be able to make a difference. And that I did, but that's it. You're on your own. Okay. Mayday. Harry, I'm writing. Hi, I'm writing you because I know you and Dave are no strangers to each other. All right, we're not going to read this one. All right, what else do we have here? Files. Uh, Diary.txt. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, you guys can read this diary. I'm not going to read it right now. Maybe some good information, uh, but in the demo, maybe not. I don't know. All right, so. We can discharge this thing, right? Right, metal mouse button, that's right. And then let's absorb the heat. And then we can melt this glass. This is glass. Ooh. Did, did you just destroy that personal relaxation vista screen? Oh, they're not cheap, you know. Oh, look at I always this. wanted one for my room, actually. Okay. What the heck did that do? Whoa, what? Oh, Alright, we gotta get up here. Jump up here, can I make this jump? Yes. Is there anything over here? Am I crouched? I'm going slow. Super slow, all of a sudden. Yeah, I can't move very fast. Tubes are shielded. I can't follow you up there. I suppose we're supposed to jump down here. <sighs> right, what's this? A letter for my dad. If you're reading this, I either got arrested or vaporized or turned blue. Huh. And translucent. <laughs> or who knows what else could have happened. Anyways, will you please blow off all the stupid non-disclosure crap and simply deliver this letter to James Gordon, Earth 42, 1648 Bay Street, San Francisco, California. Dad, hi, I'm off to a better place. Not the way you could think, but I'll explain it later. I'm trying to keep it, keep it tight, you see. Remember you saying that they don't pay... A company canteen worker like a trendy chef from Long Island? Well, you're wrong. Yes, they do. Know why? First reason, bureaucracy. You have no idea uh, how many docs I have to sign each day. A simple cafeteria cook, forms, requests, bills, manifest agreements. Hell, if I had read all this stuff, I'd never have enough time for cooking. They can't just send food from one facility to another in Delta Labs. No, sir. You gotta add a couple of three high-tech things to the same manifest. <laughs> not to mention, I'm not sure what these things really are, but even when you do so, you gotta wait. Then wait a bit more, and then even a bit more. I've realized waiting can be fun. Turns out, one can make 15 different meals only out of spaghetti, onions, and canned pork. <laughs> this is officially confirmed because I've been cooking these meals personally for two weeks. Also, I've discovered that science may come in handy, too, after in interdimensional travel. A simple potato bed may return full of extremely tasty potatoes ready to harvest. Huh. Even if you place the tubers an hour or two ago. They call it quantum entanglement, which is getting us to the second point of the question of my salary. Weird things. Everybody is so serious and secretive here. A simple small talk could suddenly finish you. Finish if you mention a touchy subject, which can be literally any subject. Also, secrecy may end badly. Take our director, Dave. He got so secretive to get busted by the security in the end. After which they quarantined the entire facility, and that's been when someone really threw shit on the fan. Gravity, gravity anomalies. Strange blue haze everywhere, flashbacks, quantum instability. I don't know much about all this stuff anyway. Here's the catch. Remember, the potato bed I mentioned? If something happened to me somewhere in the parallel world, there's your son, Will, who owns a cool fancy restaurant in the, in the Italian Quarter. Let's just say, if you do get this letter, I be, I've become this Will Gordon. At least I prefer to believe it'll be that way. I'll say hello to the parallel version of you, Dad, and 
you give mom and Alice a hug for me. Love, Will. Okay. This guy is trying to... Thinks he's figured out. Um, well. Let's bring this one open. Figured out how to get... His... Self to a different dimension. Wherever he believes he is. Okay, here we are. Wow. What are these? Okay, is this energy source I can take? I don't know. Let's grab this. It looks like we need to put it on this one. What did that do? Sounded like something over here. Oh, okay. How do I get up there? What am I missing? Oh, this is where I came down. Oh, it opened this door. Okay, here we go. Ah, now it's making sense. Alright. Oh! The door closed. Hold on. The system says access restricted to facility director David Sutherland only. But why? Uh, well, access is controlled by that camera. Uh, maybe you could blind it. Blind it. Ah. That uh, photon gun you're carrying. I got it. It can absorb and project almost any kind of energy, including uh -huh. invisible light. I believe. There it is. The light. We got to grab the energy. Blind it with the light. Okay. Ah, that worked. Not a great Decontamination. Test, Okay, we gotta close this and grab this, right, to get through. Okay. David's office is here. That'll get us access to the labs. Okay, we gotta use this thing, right, to get past this. There's some sort of powerful. Okay, we lost him a little bit. So we. Can absorb this? No? We can. Can we get in there? No. Lockdown protocol. So we gotta go... David's office. Ah, oh, we gotta... Oh, crap. We gotta use this. We gotta blind it. Oh, I didn't absorb enough. Terminal. All right, what do we got? We've got a couple of things here. Let's check his terminal. Mail. Okay, good. Uh, my authorization is still valid. When they took David away, I was given his access. You see, I was just meant to keep an eye on the place, and oh, well, I didn't expect any of this. All his mail from before his removal has been wiped. This is strange. Oh, my my word! You don't remember who Mr. Powell is, do you? He's the boss, the big man upstairs. He's been running Delta for the last few years. Inherited it from his uncle, you see. He's got some big plans, but lately he's been putting everything into this secret project of his. Experiment 747. Don't really know much about it. It's all hush-hush. But it sucked up an inordinate amount of power. And then, well, kaboom, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> A for facility in Dimension 51, security maintenance tool. Uh, manage lockdown? Nope. Access denied. Disable camera. Director's office security camera is successfully disabled. Is that the one that led us through this door? At 51 orientation dock. Welcome to facility 51, Director. We are proud to be the first outpost of humanity built in another dimension, as director of this facility, you have great legacy to live up to. Dimension 51, or as we call it, the forest, was discovered by Martin Powell himself, the man who turned a humble technology solutions company into one of the largest international research corporations. 
It was our team that was responsible for designing and building the world's first Atlas device, capable of stabilizing the level of quantum entanglement uh, and an entire dimension. Our mission is to explore a new universe full of surprising and unexpected discoveries. We are the leading edge in developing innovations related to quantum energy. In addition, we have in our arsenal the best biolab. We are the Facility 51 team located at the level at the level of 50 meters underground. Holy crap. Our base is nevertheless quite comfortable for a permanent stay unless you suffer from claustrophobia. Despite being separate from Earth 42 by 9 dimensions, this facility is fully equipped with all the comforts of home at your disposal. Kitchen prepared by chefs for the hiring of which the best restaurants in the world are ready to compete. Spacious lounges where you can socialize with colleagues in a friendly and relaxed atmosphere. And our football team is a three-time interdimensional Delta Labs Cup champion. Ha! So, you see, Harry, the thing is, you're not on Earth right now. But I, I have figured that. You're not. It's a very long story, but uh, in brief, Delta Labs has been developing dimensional rift technology for a number of years now. We have labs and facilities built across several dimensional layers. Earth is at layer 42. Um, this is 51. I don't really understand the physics of it myself. I'm just a gateway technician. I'm senior gateway technician. I'm in central now. I'm doing pretty good. But um, uh, whatever went wrong with 747 has really made a mess of things. The background mule levels are dangerously high. The area around you in particular is highly entangled. You need to get back to Earth as quickly as possible. There's a gateway that should be down in the rift lab. With a bit of luck, it should still be functional. Okay. For our safety, you don't have to worry. Our station is capable of living independently from Earth-42 for at least a month. This is our dimension. Welcome to the family. And trash. People be concerned. Oh boy. This would be- David, what did you get yourself involved with? Is this why he was removed from his position? See, I gotta read it, I guess, huh? <laughs> All right, we can read this later. It's a demo, and we probably need to read it really well for the full version, but hopefully we'll be okay here. Um, without reading that paper, it's got some trophies. All right, let's go in here. It's a bedroom. Damn, I still can't get access to the corridors connecting to the lab. Looks like you'll have to take the vents again. The you vents. can probably melt the glass ceiling, like how you melted that expensive screen before. So glass ceiling? Oh, there it is. So we have to take the vents. Okay, let's see what's in this. Very strange that that cover is off of the waste chute. Hmm. What are we supposed to do here? Okay, we can't go in there. Hmm. Can we grab those? Not with light. Um. I wonder if we're supposed to use something. All right, hold on. So we gotta melt this. So we need a heat source. All right, hold on. So this is it's a little puzzle here because we gotta. Snap it into reality. How could I snap it? Hmm. 
can we? Can we grab those? No, we can't grab them. There's got to be a way to. Oop, what happened? There's got to be a way to get that. <laughs> All right, we got to go back through here, I guess. We need more energy. There we go. Oh, why is this idle? Okay, I thought I filled it. I guess not. All right, what can we do in here? Whoa, what? What happened? Okay, can we get... Okay, let's uh, discharge this. Can we get through here? Is this potato plants that this guy was talking about? Oh, there's more stuff over here. Well, there's some heat. Right, what do we got here? Here's some mail. We won't mess with. Um, files. Order window tool. Raise or lower. Ah! Okay, that's going to get us back out. Emergency aid kit. Alright, so there's some heat. How do I get back through there? How do I get that? I get... Because if I, if I discharge this and grab the heat, I can't get through this. We need to snap this back into reality, like he said. But how do I do that? I feel like we need one of these things. How do I grab that? Oh! Grab it. I grabbed it. Okay. Sweet. Well, this... Can we put this up under here? Ah! Oh! We did it. All right, so now... We go through here, we discharge this, we grab the heat. Holy crap, that was... That's kind of tough. I just didn't know I could grab those. I like, did shooting it first. That makes sense, I guess. All right, so now we need to come through here. Melt the glass. Oof. Let's see if we can jump up here. Come on. Oh. Okay, something weird there. What? It's not ugh, letting me get. There we go. Can I get it? Oh, yeah. Okay. What? Oh, I got to crouch. Ah, right. Uh, good luck, Harry. I'll see you on the other floor. Oh, yeah. Can't talk to us in here. Oh! What's this? Two quarters. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, run! Discharge! Come on! Can I shoot you? Oh, I can stop him. Uh... Can we get in here? No. Whoa! What do I do? What do I... Oh, God!
Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. Duh. Uh oh, that one closed. Zone B. What do we push the elevator? Come on, elevator. Oh, stay there. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, we made it. Okay, now where are we going? Lower. Wonder what level we were on. How come that only showed like five, but we're like 50 levels? Oh, what? Oh. Something's going wrong. I'm not sure what it is. I can't stop it. You, you need to get out of there. We need to get out of there right now. Wow, I guess that's it. That was the, that was it. Sweet, that is awesome. We are definitely going to buy this game and probably play it, guys. Oh, it's so awesome. Let me know what you think in the comments, please. Hopefully I earned a like from you today. If so, be sure to whack that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't yet, guys. We welcome you into the CSY family. Hopefully I can play a little, a few more demo games like this and See if there was something we might like playing. I really liked it. A little bit of jump scares. And at the end there, it shows a lot of different things that this game uh, looks like it opens up to. Uh, right now, we're just stuck in these facilities. So anyway, thank you so much again, guys. I uh, do appreciate you. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.